Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Dairy Lady coming back at you with a brand new YouTube video. And before we get the video started, please drop a like down below, share this with your buddy, with your friends, with your family. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you guys like the content. But please, please, please drop a like down below and don't forget to comment. That way we pop up on people's recommended page. But anyways, I just pulled up to a secluded area, kind of like a construction site. I wanna show you guys the outside of the car and quick disclaimer of the video. Before you guys watch it, I try to gather up as many videos as I can, but for some reason I deleted damn near most of them. I recorded these videos back in 2016. We are now in 2021. I got my car back in January 2015. So I'm gonna show you guys all the mods that I did to this car. But first things first, I did take off all the piping so this car is now quiet. I think at the time I was maybe 17 or 18 years old and you know, when we're young, we're like, I want my car fast. I want my car loud yada yada i was in high school so i did a lot of mods that weren't really necessary for this car and i didn't do them right i kind of just like half-assed it it was a bunch of dog shit ideas but anyways guys hope you guys enjoy the video again if you guys enjoy the content subscribe down below but anyways let's get started So we took the deck lid out. We're gonna leave it like this now for sure. Oh yeah. I'm about to put the stock intake in. Blah. Turbocharge it. 50 pounds of boost. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put the stock wing back in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Follow me on that gram gram cash. <laughs> ah, wait, what, dude, I got the fucking license plate. Hold on, hold on. All right, so we got our knife to cut it open with because I don't have a knife cutter or anything. Set down the camera here. I'm actually using my iPhone for this, so it's kind of hard to use. But it's not gonna work. Whatever, I'll try to do it one-hander. Um, box is fairly huge. I don't know where the hell to cut it from. Okay, no, it's not gonna work. Oh, I see what it is. It's those, you can't cut, you can't cut them open. What is up YouTube? It's your boy King Darius here back with another video. As you guys can see, all the piping that was in my car. Yeah, got a little explaining to do. I do have all this piping, which is all the stock piping, the stock intake, everything, stock mufflers. And right behind this bike is my BBK long two adders that I just took out and my X pipe that I'm about to throw away because it's garbage. Uh, yeah, stock piping, everything that was in the car, the BBK mid pipe, as you guys can see right there, leaning up against the, uh, the jack. Yeah, that's all my straight piping. Some, uh, some, like, extra fucking piping that was, like, not even needed. Those were my stock wheels. And, yeah, basically took everything off this car. I'm here to talk to y'all about my experience with Firestone. I literally thought it was gonna take about a week to get these tires in. Look at big medial 305 girthy ass tires, man. And these dudes, man, I'm not gonna say which place. Y'all could just check the Yelp re review. Yeah, man, like I feel like I feel like I waited too fucking long, man. Like it's been three weeks. You feel me? I just got my airbag out, disconnected all my wiring harness. There's the airbag right there. So next up is a 24 millimeter bolt that I have to take off so that all of this comes off all in one piece. And then I have to take apart all the bolts and then put it all back together. But this is how it looks before. And I'll show you guys how it looks after. 
Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Dare Larry back at again with a brand new YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to be wrapping my 2015 Ford Mustangs roof gloss black. So let's get started. Get a clay bar. They sell them at Walmart, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, any auto parts store. And what you want to do is go over it with water and soap, both mixed together, just to get any dirt or grime that's on the paint, just so it won't show up when you wrap your car. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done. All right, guys, I got it all cleaned up with the clay bar, water, and soap. As you guys can see, there is some residue, but we're gonna clean that up, get it prepped up for our wrap with isopropyl alcohol and a clean microfiber towel. And I also got knifeless tape, which is to get these nice, crisp, clean cuts right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning up the surface and uh, we're gonna get ready to wrap this roof, guys. Bro, these California fires, check out all that ash on my car. Holy shit, dude. That is insane. And it's still flying around right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't think you guys can tell, but it's literally flying around right now. But check that out. Look at all that ash. Jesus Christ. Anyways, guys, I was going to show you guys the um, roof wrap that came out super, super good. I know it's really, really dirty right now. But check it out. Everything came out clean. So it ran me about $60, 3M material, gloss wrap, 2080. Yeah, it looks really good. Yo, what is good, guys? It's your boy, Derry Larry, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I'm currently on my way to go get my front windshield tinted 35%. Everywhere else is 5%, as you guys can see. Driver, back, everything 5%. Um, if you guys seen the previous video, I did get my front windshield replaced. So obviously I had that one tinted, but they threw it away, so. Now that I got this new windshield, um, it's been about a couple weeks that I've been wanting to get this front windshield tinted just because it's not the same, man. I can't drive without my front windshield being tinted anymore. It's way too bright in here. So I'm going to go get that done right now. It is about 1047 in the morning. I got my appointment at 11, so I'm, I'm about like five minutes away from the place. Um, am I even going the right way? So I'm gonna show you guys the inside view. Look at how bright it is in here, man. Look at the difference. Tint, no tint. So I just got the car back, guys. Look at that huge difference. This is 5% and this is 35%. All done from the same guy. Amazing, I love it. There are some bubbles here and there on the film, but I'm pretty sure once the smoke goes away and the sun comes out, it's gonna be a lot hotter. Right now it's not that hot just because there's a bunch of smoke everywhere. Um, those bubbles are gonna come out. And I also got my passenger side fixed. There's a big scratch right there, somewhere along right there. And that one was free of charge, it was warrantied. And this one was the only one I had to pay for. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna show you guys the outside view. It looks freaking amazing. On my last windshield, I did have a 5% uh, strip right here. And then I also had 35%, but this time I just did the whole windshield 35% with no uh, window visor strip. You know what I mean? Um, and it looks a lot cleaner. So I'm going to show you guys the outside view and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I love the way it looks. It's amazing. It goes well with the roof wrap. So I'll show you guys right now. So I'm about to use my last piece of sandpaper. I pretty much got all of it, front and back of the spoiler, but I just wanna make sure I get everything. All right guys, real quick, it's super windy, so if the audio sounds kinda dog shit, I'm sorry, but this is how the car is looking like right now in 2021, present day. There it is. So what we have first off, so what I did to this car is I installed the upper and lower Cervini's grill. And then I also did the Cervini's front lip, 
and then I installed the MMD side skirts and then I also bought these 20 inch wheels I believe the front is 255 and the rear is 305 now I'm gonna show you guys the back view so what I did is I got these tail light tint covers they're actually covers they're not vinyl so these actually cost about 65 to 70 dollars and then I bought the GT350 track pack spoiler carbon fiber and then I paired it up with the ZL1 add-ons wicker bill as you guys can see I did the smoked out one so that one's a little more pricier and then these louvers I don't know what brand they are I think they're MMD also oh god it's hella windy and then I also wrapped my roof in gloss black the brand is 3M I haven't gave this car a wash in a while it's been super windy all the dust have been blowing on it and then I also got the what is that called the deck lid it's just gloss black there's no emblem on there the car is sitting on one inch springs by SI performance so yeah it's basically all I did to my car like I said it's stock the only thing I have on there is a Roush intake and I believe I have a Bama performance tune so yeah, pretty much stock. The car is not loud anymore. The car is a V6. It is not a 5.0. So if you guys are wondering, I mean, if it was up to me, I'd definitely get a 5.0, but I actually got this as a early graduation present. So there is the steering wheel, carbon fiber. I bought this from some guy on Facebook Marketplace. He sold it to me at a fair price, $350. I love it. It's leather. And then we have the carbon fiber with the little red pinstripe right there. So yeah, that's basically all I have in the car. I have stock seats, um, nothing else. My boy Vegeta right there. And yeah, I also painted the calipers red. And then these wheels are from American Muscle. Everything I got damn near is from American Muscle. They make great products. So if you guys want to check them out, link is going to be down in the description box below. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of the car now. As far as mods, I might be getting a throttle body and actually taking it to get dyno tuned. And as far as exhaust goes, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I don't want this car loud. I just want it stock. I just want it to get up and go whenever I want it to. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys wanna see more videos like these of my car, drop a like down below. But that's gonna be it guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.